Hello everyone, my name is Bobble Hat Boy and welcome to another Bobble Hat Boy video. In today's video I'm going to be talking the new area for 2022 at Drayton Manor, Vikings and their logo change. So, let's get started shall we? Vikings is a new land of discovery opening on the 28th of May. Here on the website it says, experience a whole new land of discovery in our brand new Vikings area. Enjoy our all new exhilarating rides and attractions inspired by ancient gods and legends. The rides in this area include Thor, a brand new disco coaster, Loki, which is a UK's first Zamperla Nebulas, and Yomanganda, which is a retheme of the old Buffalo roller coaster. Plus, there's also Slipnir, which is a horse ride. As it says on the website, as you ride through Slipnir, our brand new training school, where ch children or anyone will be able to learn how to ride the ancient mythical horse. That sounds really interesting. This area will be located on the opposite side of the lake from Shockwave and Adventure Cove. It'll be on the old Triangles area where absolutely nothing was before. And the old, except for the old High Ropes, that was there. So, that is it vikings opening on the 28th of may except there's also an eatery which is called walhalla and there's vikings themed rooms which look really cool on the website i'll be putting some pictures up now so that is vikings i'm loving what the looping group are doing for drayton manor and what they have done in the past few years revitalizing it now something else that the looping group have done is change the logo for Drayton Manor. It used to look like this, and now it looks like this. So what do I think of it? Personally, I think the old logo was in desperate need of change, as it used to have shock. Well, it did, the old one used to have Shockwave on it, which is a very old ride for the park. And yes, it is probably their most iconic ride, but it's thirty years old in a few years, and. They need something that kind of represents it for now, for the new times. But I feel like the old one was very nostalgic for a lot of people. And the new one doesn't really have a logo as per se. It's just a lot of words on, in a different font. I don't really know. I'm, I am very mixed on this, but I think it will definitely grow on me. What do you guys think about the new logo and Vikings? I would love to know, will you be heading out to Vikings after the 28th of May? Or will you be going on opening day? I would love to know. And I'll see you all later. Bye!